Now to campaign 2016, and the Republican Party of Florida is playing host to all 13 GOP candidates at the Sunshine Summit in Orlando. They're all vying for support ahead of the Florida primary next March. CBS 4's David Sutta is in Orlando tonight, where all the leading candidates took the stage. And David, I'm very, I'm sure the tone is very different there now after news of the terror attacks in Paris broke. Yeah, I think everybody was really shocked when the news of what happened in Paris uh, was made here. They actually stopped the summit and made that announcement. And at that very moment, you could see it, you could feel it. The mood changed here, and so did the talking points. Please join me in a moment of silence. For a moment, Friday, Republicans paused at the Sunshine Summit as news of the Paris terror attack spread. Frontrunner Ben Carson called it a moment for America to step up. I think America's involvement should be trying to eliminate them completely, destroy them. Carson was joined by a field of Republican candidates attending the summit. We need to take power out of Washington and back to we the people. That is what this campaign is all about. The event put on by the Republican Party of Florida to motivate conservatives about the primary just four months away. I'm not sure who brought Barack Obama's teleprompter, but I wish I could move it so I can see you guys. Senator Marco Rubio was at ease on his home turf. I think we as a party are blessed to have so many good candidates. The Democrats can't even come up with one. Governor no Jeb Bush program. also at home. I can win this. Florida's primary could ultimately decide the fate of both men's campaign. If you want a talker, maybe I'm not the guy. But if you want a doer, someone that's done it, someone that's taken on the tough challenges, I am your candidate. Bush is definitely lagging in the polls. Donald Trump made it a point to make sure everyone knew that. 37% for Trump, 16 for Rubio. I won't tell you what Bush is, but it's not too good. Trump stuck mostly to policy during his speech, but in Trump style, he did brag about how he would make America great again. We're going to win so much. You people are going to be so proud of your president. We are going to win so much. Got to love the enthusiasm. You are going to see the rest of the Republican presidential candidates, the undercard tomorrow taking the stage here. You can also probably expect that the tone and the messages from them will be changed dramatically based on what happened today in Paris. We're live in Orlando tonight. David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight. David, thank you.